going on everybody uh, I wanted to come on here today and share share with you all a number of five visions that I had starting last year last last June of last year excuse me but um I had five visions starting last year um, regarding the end times and things I believe are about to happen soon or maybe even sooner than we all think so I'll just jump right off into it. Um, the first one was more like a dream, and in that dream, it was about me and six, seven other people, and we're all standing on like uh, this cliff, this ledge of some sort, and we're all bracing for something. Um, at the time, I couldn't see what it was we're bracing for, but we're all like with each other, bracing one another because something is coming towards us. And then uh, a few moments later, there's a huge wave of water uh, I'm not sure if it was tsunami or whatever it was but it was a huge wave of water and it was coming right right exactly towards us and we all bracing tight and everybody's you know trying to corral each other to prepare for this and hopefully survive it but it hit us and it hit us hard and I remember being inside of the water I could see everybody swimming in the water you know trying to trying to <laughs> survive through it or whatever and um after that I remember I remember being in the water and shortly after everybody was celebrating everybody was laughing and having fun and and just it was like we was just celebrating having made it having survived that wave of water and we were in that water just having the best time ever and um, that was pretty much that dream. Now, the one after it was more of a vision I had, probably a week later, exactly a week later. Um, it was more of a vision. And in that vision, I could see planes in the sky. I'm in the house and I'm looking up in the sky. And I can see these planes. They kind of resembled the ones off of uh, Star Trek, the old school Star Trek show, the plane they had on the opening credits. It looked a lot like that one, and uh, there was about two of them in the sky, and they started blowing all this smoke out of them. Uh, not smoke, I'm sorry, uh, fire. And they started blowing all this fire out of them. And um, next thing I know, I go outside, trees on fire, the streets on fire. Uh, everybody lost their minds. Everybody went crazy. People started fighting. People started jumping people. People started killing each other. They were stealing from stores. You know, people shooting each other in the head. Uh, chaos. Everybody panicked and went crazy and started hurting each other for some reason. Uh, there's fire trucks everywhere trying to put some of the fires out. And uh, in the midst of that, everybody's just going crazy. It's nothing but chaos and fire in the streets. And I'm just. It's like somebody, it's like, like like Jesus almost was walking me through it, just showing me everything because I'm in the midst of it all. And I've been chased in dreams before, like I'm sure you all have, but uh, I've been chased in dreams before. But in this one, I was able to walk right through it without being seen. That's how I know this was a vision. I could see my own arms and it's just, I dream a lot. I dream a whole lot. So I know the difference. I know the difference. And, um... So that, that one was pretty much of that one, just fire from the skies, from these weird looking aircrafts in the sky, set everything on fire, everybody went completely crazy, killing all of that chaos, pure chaos, panic, fear, all that. And um, so we go to the, to the second one that I had about a week later after that. And in this one, I was in a huge church. This is the third dream slash vision I had. And uh, I was in a huge church, and it was packed. I'm talking about everybody. Every, every seat was filled in the church. There was no empty space. And in the very center, at the front stage, more so at the front stage, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> there was a man standing there preaching. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but this man was preaching to everybody and these people were loving every word that was coming out of his mouth they were the applause they they were worshiping him they was just loving this guy and 
Moments later, he passed out. All he passed out these little glasses of, of water, except it wasn't regular water. It had like a glow to it. It was glowing water, and he passed it out to everybody. And everybody began to drink it. And I remember having a glass of it, and I drank it. I, I tried to drink it, but it was very bitter, and it smelled sort of like like chlorine or bleach or something. It just smelled bitter, and it tasted bitter. And I I spit it out. And even while I was in that dream, or the, I was having it. Um, I knew in a dream that that was the Antichrist. Um, I can't really tell you what you would look like. What he looked like? A uh, pretty fair-skinned guy, um, clean-shaven. You know, he looked good. You know, the Antichrist. He's not gonna be ugly. He's gonna be attractive. He, people are gonna want to 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 be around this guy. People are gonna to know him. People are gonna to want to follow him. And that's exactly what was happening in that dream. And uh, yeah, I spit the water out. It was very bitter. And I knew in a dream that that was the Antichrist, and it's funny that that would happen after the chaos. Because if you know, if you know your your word, if you know your Bible, then you know he will arise out of uh, chaos. It will be chaos, and he will arise as a man of peace, and he will corral everybody and get the people to follow him, get the people to take up that mark of the beast. I don't know if the the water in the dream symbolized the mark of the beast because everybody took it thinking it's something good because he sold them and uh, they took it and uh, that was that third dream I had and after that I haven't had any more dreams for months, a few months and uh, a little bit after that, a few months later I had another dream that I was on a rooftop, I don't know what I was doing up there but I was with my brother and his wife and I could just hear noises off in the distance and people making a lot of noises. And then next thing I know, all the power in the city went off. All the power shut off and all across the whole city. People lost their minds again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, chaos in the streets, fighting, rioting, all that stuff. This is like my second uh, vision. Uh, power in the whole entire city goes out and people are going crazy again. People, it's chaos everywhere again and I think that led to my fifth my fifth vision which I had about uh, two months ago in in um, January I had about two months ago and that was what I think was the New World Order because I've seen it in the neighborhood I grew up in and I was hanging out with some people I grew up with and a couple family members and next thing I know it's army vehicles, tanks, armored cars, all of that going through our streets and there's soldiers out there marching and they were even executing people. Probably Christians and people that are not compliers. <laughs> but um and that was the last one I had. They're not very long, they're pretty short, but in the short duration of them it's very powerful information what I feel. And I started to look back and I realized you know, the order that that they came with first being a tsunami dream I kind of thought well you know maybe that could have been maybe been the rapture or something you know because we were bracing for something and then it says after the rapture after the bride is raptured it'll be uh, some type of celebration in heaven or something like that and we were all standing on the ledge bracing and preparing for something kind of like we the church uh the bride is now we're all we're all seeing all these events that's going on around us in the world and we kind of bracing for it kind of bracing for something we all know something big is about to happen and we're bracing for that so i thought that maybe that was was uh symbolic for the rapture because soon after we were caught up as it says in the bible we were caught we'll be caught up in the cloud to go meet our lord and savior jesus christ in the sky um we was caught up by that water and then soon after we were celebrating we was having fun we was just celebrating everybody was just so happy not a worry in the world I don't even think we even knew what a worry was anymore and then right after that dream all the chaos and all the bad stuff and, and uh, the, the apocalypse type stuff happened and then the rise of the antichrist followed by 
or what was probably a short period of peace and then followed by a uh, more chaos and apocalyptic like events and then the new world order rise and that was the last one I had so I kind of paid attention after a while to the uh, uh, order I had these dreams in and it kind of caught me like you know, dang like that's what I've heard so many times before that's that's like how it's gonna happen you know so it kind of tripped me up um, I haven't had any more visions since then but um, I just feel the need I need to share those with people uh, I see a lot of people out sharing their dreams and their visions and uh, figure what good are mine if I'm just keeping them to myself um, I tell them to people all the time people I'm around but uh, they kind of brush it off <laughs> you know I kind of get looked at like I'm a little crazy but uh, I don't mind I'm, I'm a messenger and it's up to you whether you take it or not uh, so you know uh, you can either take it or leave it you can continue or you can see it for the warning that it is uh, all of us in Christ right now we we really know that that something something is coming I've been feeling it for years um, I'm an ex-New Ager. Uh, I was big in the New Age movement and stuff, and um, even when I was into that, I, I still felt it. Even though back then I tried to deny it, but uh, you know, I've been in Christ for two months after taking a trip to Massachusetts. Uh, long story. I'm not going to tell it now, <laughs> but um, long story short, I ended up Jesus Christ got me. I ended up, you know, coming and just realizing some things and. Uh, became born again in Christ so I feel very lucky and blessed considering what time it is we're in and so um, uh, just just keep watching y'all keep watching keep repenting keep trying to help others to, to wake up to it not everybody will accept you telling them that some people even will get mad I've had people get mad at me for talking to them I had people try to deny me and, and you know, argue me down about these things, but y'all don't worry about them. Just say what you got to say. You you know it. Christ let you know the truth. So uh, that's about it for now. If I have any more dreams or visions that I feel are pretty far powerful, I'll, I'll post them here. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, y'all keep watching. Keep watching the sky. Keep watching the signs. Keep keep listening to your dreams and visions. Keep listening to what Jesus is telling y'all. He's coming back soon. You can look in the world and and tell that every sign's been fulfilled. Everything is it, it couldn't be more blatant than it is, you know. And, and and those of us, he told us in the Bible that that his people, his true followers, will know when he's coming, and and they will also know when he's even at the door. And like some of y'all probably know, he's at the door. <laughs> um, we can feel it. We can see it. It's in every everything out there. You can, it's just there. Every sign is fulfilled. So if you've been feeling that, but maybe some people kind of discouraged you from that, or, or even yourself discouraged you, you know, or whatever, you're not going crazy. It's true. Your feelings are real. It, this is really happening. We really here. But um, thanks for watching, y'all. Y'all you know, stay tight, man. And, and, uh, keep repenting, and, and just keep that watchful eye out because. Uh, He's coming back soon.